So you have balanced duration. So the duration to be, um, let's say helpful, uh, it has to be balanced, okay? So that uh, the animal uh, can take benefit of this duration, okay? And can produce uh, as well as we are expecting. So the ration has to be balanced and a balanced ration is the ration which provides an animal with the proper, I mean the correct, the right amount, the right quantity, the right proportion and variety of the required nutrients to keep the animal uh -huh. in its form to perform best in respect of production and health. Okay, so what is a balanced ration? It is a ration which contains correct amount for one animal. Okay, we're going to calculate the correct amount, the correct proportion and the variety of food given uh, the animal uh, or covering the all the animal needs okay so that the animal is going to be able to produce this is performance okay performance is uh, the capacity of producing what we are expecting from it okay and without having um, health problems without suffering from illnesses etc so let's speak about um, the amount the proportion and the variety. So the the correct amount is important because uh, one animal has to not be underfed, okay, uh, nor to be overfed, okay. It is because not to have uh, health problems and to be able to produce uh, what we are expecting of, of it, okay. So uh, if the animal is not fed in sufficient uh, and enough uh, quantity is not going to be able to produce and about the proportion for example we're going to see the words that are just written below uh, for forage and concentrate you have to give the correct proportions of concentrate illness the animal is going to suffer from uh, acidosis and meteorism okay so there it is for the proportion and for the variety it is because um, the, the uh, animal uh, requirement, animal needs um, uh, are numerous, okay? You have a variety of, so you have to cover them. I'm going to see the different types of requirements according to nutrient classes. So. Uh, you have many nutrients to be given to the animal. Therefore, variety of food is important. Okay, uh, let's carry on our terminology. So here you have forage or roughage. Roughage, be careful here because we pronounce the G uh, H as F. Okay, as F sound. So forage and roughage. So what is it? It is a kind of food. Uh, we give in general to, to, to cattle, okay, to cattle I precise, and uh, it is a poor quality feed containing lesser amount of a total digestible nutrients or more than 30%, 35, sorry, 35% cell wall constituents and more than 18% of crude fiber. So it is first as in French, c'est le fourrage. And uh, forage is um, energetic pure food, okay? It is not an energetic food, okay? It is energy inside is very low, okay? Therefore, it is said that it is a poor quality feed. Whenever it is, a very important type of food for for um, cattle because it is rich in fibers which are important for the digestive process. Okay, 
So here it is said that lesser amount of digestible, total digestible nutrients, okay? Uh, so um, you have less amount of energy and a more important percentage, okay? Or amount of cell wall constituents, la cellulose, entre autres, and uh, crude fibers, okay? Whereas concentrate, here it is the contrary, donc c'est le concentré en français, it contains little amount of crude fibers, of course, because it is more concentrated in digestible nutrients, so less than 80, uh, sorry, 18%. 18%, okay, 18% and more than 60% total digestible nutrients, okay. So to help you memorize, from time to time I present some photos to you. So here you have the forage or the roughage, okay. And here you have in the manja the concentrate, okay, aliment concentré. And we carry on for different types of uh, foods we present or to, we give to Carol. You have hay. Hay is the product obtained by drying tender leafy plants in such a way that they contain not more than 12 to 14 percent moisture. So I start by the word moisture, it is uh, water. Okay, uh, in French we can find it uh, humidity. Okay, so here. Uh, it is a kind of tender leafy plant. Ce sont des, des plantes tendres et feuillées, containing uh, leaves, containing uh, des feuilles. Okay, we dry them and we store them and we uh, use this kind of food to, uh, to feed cattle. Okay, in French, c'est le foin. Hey, c'est le foin. You have straw. Straw is the byproduct of any cereal or legume uh, crop. Donc, c'est un uh, dérivé of, uh, so for the word byproduct, c'est un dérivé, okay? De, de... Of, uh, I mean, uh, cereal or legume crops left over after harvesting, threshing, and the removal of the grains, okay? Harvesting, c'est la récolte. So after you harvest, uh, you are going to uh, leave over after harvesting um, a kind of fibers. We can use um, maybe for uh, nutrition, okay? But it is a very poor quality uh, food. And we can use it in bedding, okay, comme litière. So it is, so straw, here is the word, c'est la paille en français, c'est la paille. You have silage, en français c'est l'ensilage, so it is the grass or other green plants that are cut and stored without being dried first. So it is fresh uh, grass. We are going to store it. Okay, I'm going to tell you where. So to feed cattle in winter. And we store silage in silos. So silo, en français, silo, or silo, is a semi-year tight structure designed for use, okay, in production and storage of silage. Okay, it is like a hole you are going to put to store fresh grass and to it is to allow fermentation, the fermentation of this grass. Okay.
sabe Where I'm moving in a moment, we're going to see the figures together. Okay, we start with the hay. Mm -hmm. Here is. And, oh, sorry. And you have the straw. You have also the silo, okay, yeah, try to notice that, and you have always to, you have, sorry, to cover the grass, okay, you have to cover the grass unless the fermentation is not going to be uh, happened, okay, here is the silo it is all of this and you have inside you have the grass which is stored and it is covered 